we saw uh, the subjective approach of authors and critics and in this video we are going to look at objective approach now in the last video we discussed some uh, poems by romantic poets which had a subjective element in them and where uh, the narrator and the author kind of fused into one entity now uh, let's contrast this with the objective lyric now the genre remains the same but uh, let let me give you the example of uh, my last duchess by robert browning now obviously in this um, poem when the narrator speaks in the first person uh, this is the duke uh, the the husband of uh, this dead duchess who is speaking um, and uh, the uh, obviously robert browning is not identifying with the duke over here because the duke is clearly someone who has killed his first wife so it's a very objective kind of a of an approach and the author has uh, not identified himself or uh, uh, with the narrator or the main character of his work and the author there's there's a distance between the author and the narrator similarly if you look at ts eliot's love song of j alfred proof rock you will realize the same distancing between the author and the narrator or the lead character of the work and another example of an objective lyric would be wallace stevens's sunday morning so uh, now let's look at what the subjective novel does in the subjective novel the author intervenes and passes judgment over characters and gives opinion uh, opinions about situations now a novel which comes to my mind which does this very often is arundhati roy's the god of small things you can you have a very clear picture of the narrator the position the author takes though she is nowhere in in the narrative space she is nowhere there and she's uh, the narration does not even happen in the first person but still you can uh, very well um, identify uh, where the author's sympathies lie so that i would say is a subjective novel uh, in an objective work on the other hand the author presents situations and characters their thoughts feelings and actions in a very factual manner there is no personal identification with any of the characters in the novel uh, the author undertakes to remain detached and non committal so the author does not uh, seem to be emotionally invested in the characters or to be emotionally identifying with the characters of her or his work and there is also a deliberate omission of authorial opinion and the author you will find is self effacing the author erases his or her own tracks so they don't want to insert themselves into the narrative space and uh, like i said when we are looking at criticism objectivity is required for critical analysis it's best ideally we need to approach any work any uh, work of art or any work of literature from a very objective pers perspective our personal biases prejudices our um, personal likes dislikes preferences um, or how we feel about that particular writer or poet should not interfere with the work of art that we are judging though this is most often not the case and most of the in most uh, cases uh, the there is bound to be some kind of a subjective element in the critics judgment uh, right so this was all about a uh, subjective and objective that a subjective has to do with your personal feelings and your personal judgment and objective is um, it refers to more of a factual presentation and a factual depiction presenting the truth as it is and leaving the reader to interpret Thank you.